Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Hey, Ford just provided the blueprint for the new redesigned 2022 Toyota Tundra. This blueprint that they provided shows Toyota how to compete with and maybe pass the Ford F-150. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you the four points that Ford themselves have mentioned to beat the F-150. Okay, here we go. What am I talking about? Well, I just saw an ad on Buy Ford Now directly comparing the Ford F-150 to the Toyota Tundra. You know, they're kind of attacking the Tundra, stating why you should buy an F-150 over the Tundra. Now, I will say everything that Ford mentioned in this little video stated that they were best in class. So all Toyota needs to do is concentrate on this stuff. I mean, if Ford's best in class and they're managed to, to beat them in these areas, then Toyota will be best in class, right? Now, I think this is a blueprint that Toyota should use for the redesigned 2022 Toyota Tundra against Ford. And it's perfect timing, right? Because Toyota right now is in the midst of, of engineering or putting out or putting together this brand new redesigned Tundra. Now, there are four areas that Toyota should concentrate on courtesy of Ford, and here they are. Number one, payload capacity. The first thing mentioned by Ford is payload capacity. The 2020 Toyota Tundra has a max payload capacity of 1,660 pounds. Ford is 3,000 270 pounds. Quite a bit of difference there. I think Toyota needs to certainly beat that number. Next up is torque, pound feet of torque. The Tundra is rated at 401 pound feet of torque. The F 150, they tout a 470 foot pounds of torque and claims that the Tundra has less trailer pulling torque, which would make sense, right? I mean, it has less torque to begin with, so you really can't argue with that. Number three, the Tundra doesn't have any trailer backup assist. Now that's this system that Ford has where they're backing up a trailer and it, it kind of helps guide it in tight areas or turning it around or whatever. The F-150 has what they call the Pro Trailer Backup Assist to make backing up with a trailer easier. Now, if we're talking about towing and all that kind of stuff, obviously, anything that'll make it easier is an advantage. And while we're talking about that, number four is towing capacity. The Tundra can tow up to 10,100 pounds. That's the max towing capacity that any Tundra can tow. The F-150 boasts a max towing capacity of 13,200 pounds. Definitely need to address that area. Now, Ford claims, and this is kind of a side note here, Ford claims that the F-Series of trucks has the highest brand loyalty in the industry. All the trucks. Not sure exactly what that's based on. And, and primarily, that's because of all the Tundra owners that I talk to and all the comments and things that I get. The Tundra owners are pretty darn loyal, right? For that matter, I don't know any Tundra owner I don't think I know one that would opt for an F-150 or trade in their Tundra for an F-150. Now I've heard plenty of F-150 owners say that they wish they bought a Tundra and that they're looking forward to trading in their F-150 for a Tundra. I don't know. Now, the site obviously that I, that I got this from, they go on to, to make other comparisons in print but they chose to highlight these four areas in video, right? So they must be a little concerned. They must think that they're pretty important. I mean, if they spent the money to produce this video, that costs a heck of a lot more than just typing up some stuff in a website, you know? I believe that that shows how important these areas really are and highlight the main areas that Toyota should be focusing on with the 2022 redesigned Tundra. And maybe that's why they've delayed it a little bit, right? I mean, originally, at least rumor had it, that this truck was supposed to be out in 2021. There were even some rumors that it would come out in late 2020. They've backed that up now, and maybe this is a reason why. I don't know. Now, 
I want to say, I think it was uh, a little bit arrogant of Ford to provide this blueprint, right? I mean, they're sitting on this hill. Nobody can argue that they're the number one selling truck. Nobody can argue that they've been that way for, I don't know, 42 going on 43 years. But I think that they singled out Toyota uh, for comparison might show that Ford is a little bit worried. Maybe they're a little scared of what this new redesigned 2020 Tundra is going to be, right? Maybe they just wanted to try to sway public opinion a little bit by comparing what they have right now to the current Tundra in preparation for this new redesigned Tundra that's coming out. I don't know. It's a little funny that they would pick the Tundra, right? I mean, the Tundra is what? Number three? Number four on the totem pole? Why didn't they pick Chevy or... Or Ram, they say it that they're best in class, so they could have picked any one of the others that have more sales. I don't know. Whatever the reason, I certainly think that Toyota should take note and use that information in what I think was an obvious attack as the blueprint for their 2021 redesigned Tundra. What do you guys think? Should Toyota concentrate on the things that, uh, that were mentioned here in the new Tundra? Are they important to you guys? I'd be curious. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'd be very curious to hear. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.